Galileo goes live. It took 17 years and cost around 10 billion euros. Europe's answer to GPS has gone into operation with the launch of four more satellites from French Guyana. It aims to produce the most accurate satellite navigation system in the world, with real-time positioning down to one meter or less compared to the 10-meter range of its American rival. Many will be saying that this is a case of better late than never for the Galileo satellite navigation system. When the contract was first signed, it was due for completion in 2008. Here we are at the end of 2016 and the services have finally begun. Something to underline with Galileo, though, is that its competitors, GPS and GLONASS, the American and Russian versions, are actually run by the military. Galileo is not only a lot more accurate, it's also run by the European Commission, which means that it's civil, and in that sense it has great strategic importance for Europe. The first services free to users are limited to smartphones and car navigation units already fitted with Galileo-compatible microchips. But once it's fully operational with all 30 satellites in 2020, it will help in search and rescue operations, enable more accurate time synchronization for banking and financial transactions, offer governments an encrypted service in times of national emergencies such as terrorist attacks, and bring lucrative returns to European businesses ready to exploit its precision.